Jim. New this morning, a local middle and high school team swept a popular robotics competition, beating out groups from all over the world. ABC 10 News reporter Nate Holmes talked with the team about the competition and their award-winning design. They call themselves Team Inspiration. This group of middle and high school students have been working with robotics for nearly 10 years. Last month, the team competed in the 2020 International RoboSub Competition. Each team had to build an underwater robot. Some basic tasks include going underwater, going, seeing and recognizing images underwater, and going to waypoints underwater. This is the second year the group participated in the competition. These are photos from 2019, but due to COVID, the competition was done virtually this time around. The competition really was a pretty good equalizer because we all got the same, I guess, Zoom playing field. The students updated their robot design from last year and built an additional robot for the competition. The idea was that both of them would go in the water together to distribute the tasks and um, so that we could have more of an advantage. The students also built the sensor navigation parts on the devices. Basically tell how far it is from other objects. We have cameras on multiple sides of the robots. We have hydrophones which are able to uh, locate an acoustic pinger in the pool. Team Inspiration took home first place in the overall competition, technical design and website, and second in the video presentation. It was a lot of fun and quite an amazing surprise. Team Inspiration is the only middle and high school team to ever win the world title in RoboSub's 23 year history. Although they have a tough act to follow, they are excited for next year. Nate Holmes, ABC 10 News. What an impressive group of kids. So 33 teams competed. Team Inspiration says they beat a number of top college and university teams to win. You guys, that's incredible. Yeah, just listening to their talking about the different design aspects of it and the different indicators that they, I was like, what are the, that's fantastic.